Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Angel and today I want to talk about veganism like modern age, veganism, veganism in 2024 and veganism onwards. How like how it's going to develop in the near future. Um, now I have been vegan and like not eating meat for ages. I think I started being vegetarian in... I went vegetarian in 2014 and then I... Um, then I stopped... Then I became vegan in like 2015 or 16. I don't remember. Um, so yeah. Uh, like this runs deep in me. Like I... I'm not moving from this lifestyle anytime soon um but what i wanted to talk about is how like um just like socially and even like physically in the stores when i go to the stores now like i have always been like happy to have um options for you know things i want to eat like pizzas burgers um whatnot hot dogs anything like veganized like chocolate even haribo made a like vegan candy uh ritter sport like so many so many so many places like not places i don't remember the word uh so many uh, so many firms like made their own like veganized option for vegans and what I have been wit witnessing like the two last years is that the options, at least in my uh, like local shop, the options for vegan foods have been diminishing and diminishing and diminishing and diminishing. Imagine if it used to be like this, wait, like this five years ago, you know how big it is right now? It's like this. In the frozen section, this is what we have we have i'm not even joking we have burgers like one type of burger one type of falafel or something uh one type of like meatballs you know swedish kinds and um i think that's all that's all we have and we used to have like frozen pizzas frozen everything um and on like from my point of view all of this is quite silly um because i i don't understand how people could or can revert to like um eating omnivore an omnivore diet of course i understand like the whole like debacle of health and everything if you don't eat accordingly to your health of course you're going to change your diet you know um i myself am not healthy right now but that has nothing to do with uh, my diet and it has all to do with a stupid tick that bit me <laughs> so that that has like nothing to do with that but i've seen so many like i'm stopping to be vegan right now because my health doesn't allow it and everything and it's like um it to me it is very sad uh that they're i don't know like you know those blood types diets uh i know i don't really know anything about it but i know that there is this diet type where you can eat according to your blood type so like a eats a lot of this o eats this etc etc um and i think like eating for your body is kind of the same thing um like if, yeah and not I don't think like everyone genetically everyone 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 like genetically can be vegan and i absolutely understand and respect that like if you're vegan in your mind only like you would love to be vegan but you can't for uh, your own reasons you know i respect that but like having seen like this huge boom and like veganism was blooming blooming like really blooming um 
a few years ago and now it's just like it's flopping like veganism is in its flop era <laughs> and i hate that so much and uh even now like i <sighs> i still get faced with those like stupid jokes like oh uh that woman was perfect until she told me that she was vegan or um uh how do you know that someone is vegan? They're gonna tell you and everything. The only time I tell anyone that I'm vegan is one, if I'm invited to a dinner. Two, is uh, if I'm going on a restaurant with someone and uh, they're about to bring me into a steakhouse. Uh, or three, like... I don't know, at the hospital or something. That would be my reasons to tell someone that I'm vegan. And I've never really been pushy about my my dietary lifestyle um, or lifestyle in general because, yes, uh, like most of everything that I own is vegan. And if it's not, it's secondhand or like given to me by accident or something um but yeah uh like <sighs> yeah it irks me a lot and like the vegan jokes i don't understand and maybe i'll get those comments on this video like uh -huh, bacon is so good yeah okay cool but i don't care like truly uh if someone is like telling me like oh bacon is so good uh blah, blah, blah. i'm gonna be like shh no okay it's good for you i don't care um i try to take care of my health and what's even more important well not like more important but like equally important for my health is also how the animals feel i am um, i care so much about the animals and you know, if I could, I, I, I would do something, but I can't because I'm just a single, little, puny, tiny human. Um, but I believe that if we work, like, together, we can do changes. Anyways, that's beyond the point. Um, veganism has truly been in, in its, like, flop era. No one, like, I feel like if you talk about veganism, people are just, like, they're like, no, mm -mm, I don't want to talk to you. Um... And I've actually recently seen some uh, animal activists, like, out in the wild. I could never be a an animal activist, like, by myself or just, like, in a small group or something. Because I'm scared to talk to people, especially here, because I don't really speak the native language and everything. Um, but, you know, uh, I would love to be a part of something one day. But... <laughs> Um, but I saw some the other day, and I don't remember which group there were, but there were, like, animal protection or something. Yeah, uh, there's a group that speaks about, like, the elephants, uh, here in Denmark. And <laughs> I talked to them, I asked them, yeah, how is it going, you know? And at first they were like, who are you? And I said, well, I'm for the animals, obviously, and... Uh, I care about the animals so much, but uh, yeah, I will support you in any ways, whatever. And they were like, "Well, people are like ignoring us, like the like the pest." And I was like, "Oh, really?" Um, and it sucks, you know, uh, that people. I don't know for some reason people are turning a blind eye to animals, like cows are the cutest animals on earth same with dogs cats anything truly and i don't i i just don't understand how people can just be like i love the taste of i don't know what you beef but at the same time i love my dog you know i don't understand that anyways i'm not going to like talk about that like an evangelist but I am a vegan evangelist, so if you want. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's just annoying that that veganism was just a trend for many people or that they saw it as a diet to lose weight or like 
or like I don't I don't understand how you can revert to omnivore after eating vegan for so long H how because I've seen this you know there are less like vegan things it's less there's less hype around it which is in a way good because it's it, it's more like settled um and okay i see less vegan things on the shelves in my local place but there are like so many types of milks right now that they sell the last one that actually i don't want to try you know what they have in denmark they have potato milk and i am not willing to try that uh, even though I've been vegan for so long and I usually like if I see something new I will try it. I'll be like, ah, oh, I want to try it But no like potato milk. Uh, -uh I'm not trying that. Uh, I don't know if it's like Choking with me or anything, but no, I'm nay uh, But yeah I'm just sad about like The fact that for many veganism was just like a, a trend and like not taken seriously or like taken like 100% in um I'm an ex-dancer like an ex-ballerina so I don't know maybe I have like a high self-discipline uh or something like maybe I'm just like very like high self-disciplined maybe and like that's why I took it like a hundred percent in and I was like okay I guess I'm vegan now like uh, I don't know if that's a part of why I'm s still vegan I don't know like why maybe some people were just like doing it halfway or something um but I just wanted to say if you're doing like even half veganism like or you have like meatless Monday or like meatless meal in a week i am applauding you like honestly i know so many people who eat meat for every meal and i mean like every meal um and i'm not really judging them if anything they are actually judging me but if you're just like eating one thing a week that is not like carnivore i'm applauding you also just a reminder potatoes bananas like every all of those things are vegan so yeah i don't know also I, it's true that i don't really eat a lot of like i eat, i try to eat less processed like vegan foods or like foods in general um because of my health uh but just you know the fact that like the ready made food the marcel duchamp foods are like less present in the stores makes me sad and everything <sighs> anyways i don't know where i was going to go with this video but i just wanted to like talk about like how veganism is no longer at, at its top there are no longer like vegan creators like back in the days um like all well most of the vegan creators that i used to follow mm, most of them are not vegan anymore like bonnie rebecca like christy swaddling like um cornelia grimsmo like uh who else S uh what? i don't remember everyone's names i'm so sorry but like all of those people they have all reverted to whatever they were eating before oh and what's her name you know the blonde one who lives in hawaii <coughs> like she's fully carnivore now i think and yeah carnivore has like gotten everyone's attention right now well not everyone but people in the atmosphere of foods and stuff um which i find i'm sorry but the farts of those people cannot be something healthy like i would not want to be there when they fart or burps anyways uh, <laughs> i 
Alice, Alice something, yeah, Alice, the one, uh, vertical something, Alice, you know who I mean, anyways, she's carnivore, apparently, whatever, I, I send them, like, all my love, I just hope, like, they're happy with their decisions, and, like, the, the only, like, the truly only reason why I'm still vegan is because I have, I would feel bad, I would feel bad if I ate animals again, so that's why I'm not eating animals, um, and yeah, it's truly that, like, because if I do something, like, bad during the day, like, not, like, bad, bad, but, like, something, like, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't smile to the cashier or something, I will feel bad the entire day, I'll be like, no, why did I do that, you know, now they're gonna have, like, a bad day, or maybe they will think about this, and, like, have a bad day after this, or something, you know, um, so, yeah, that is, like, the true, like, why, I, I just, I can't do bad things, of course I can, but I mean, I don't want to regret, I don't want to go around and be like, Ugh. you know, anyways, that's what I wanted to say, um, about veganism, if you're still vegan, hi, I love you, um, and if you're not vegan, that's, that's okay too, um, yeah, I just think it sucks that so many people, like, I don't know, like, they don't see how animals suffer for their food, and I truly believe in the saying, like, treat your body like a temple, and, like, animals, like, everything you eat has energy, hi, I'm a spiritual channel after all, everything you eat has energy and if what you eat has been tortured and like there's like bad energy with it, I don't want that, so that's like, that's also a very big reason as to why I'm vegan, I don't want anything like bad in that way, uh, entering my temple, uh, especially now that I'm sick, you know, I don't want that, so, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go now, have a wonderful day, and I love you all so much, bye, bye,